Did you guys know that you could jump 70 inches higher instantly by just thinking about this one thing? Well, if you said yes, you're a liar. First of all, if you already know this secret, then that means you already have a 70 inch vertical, in which case, why are you watching this video? Your 70 inch vertical wasn't enough? You weren't satisfied going between your legs 9 times in midair and then ducking the ball upside down? You weren't satisfied jumping higher than the guy in that 2K16 intro? But anyway, for those of you guys that said no, but you believed that I knew the secret, you're an idiot. I can't dunk. Why would I know a method to jump 70 inches higher but then not use it myself? That's like if I pour myself a tall glass of pomegranate juice, went to grab it, and then walked away. I never drank it, I never will drink it, but it's gonna sit there on that table because I poured it. This is a weird direction that this video was taken. I think it's really good to start the video insulting your viewers and subscribers. Uh, really sets the mood for the rest of the video. Anyway, let's just get into the actual video. There's actually something you can think of, and by just thinking about it, you'll jump a couple inches higher. So before I tell you guys, let me just say, I can't dunk. So take any advice I say here with a grain of salt, you know, it might not be the best advice, but I am 5'8", and I can grab the rim with two hands. I never really measured my vertical, but that's where I'm at. Also, I'm not genetically gifted or anything, because when I started training to jump, I couldn't even really touch the backboard. So, you know, every inch that I have, I had to train for and work for. I had to know what I was doing to get there. There's a lot of people whose genetics allow them to be able to dunk without even having to train for it. They're able to have like super high verticals, but those people have super high verticals, but they don't know how to get their vertical higher. They just were born with a high vertical. But that being said, I still can't dunk and I haven't even trained my vertical in the past two to three years. So if you guys don't want to listen to what I have to say, then you can leave now, you know, I'll understand. Also, your shoes are ugly and you got a big forehead. Pinhead Larry looking ass. Always good to attack the viewers, what I always say. And for everybody that's still here that's endured my abuse so far, uh, I think you guys have really normal foreheads and I think that's a good thing and will take you very far in life. Anyway, the tip that you need to think of to jump higher instantly is to put as much force into the ground as fast as you can. So I'm gonna try and explain this. It's kind of complicated, but I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. A maximum effort jump, which is jumping as high as you can, is an exertion of power. And force times speed equals power. Force is basically how much weight you can put into the ground, and you can improve your force output through uh, squats, deadlifts, any kind of leg strengthening exercises. Speed is how fast you can apply that force and get off the ground, and you can improve that through plyometrics. Now, when a lot of people jump, they just think about jumping. They just think, let me jump up and try and reach this certain point. But what they should be thinking about is trying to apply as much force into the ground as possible as fast as they can. A lot of people might think about putting a whole bunch of force into the ground, but they overthink that and then they end up doing it really slowly, so that decreases the speed. Or they might run up and think about going up really fast, but then they forget to put a whole bunch of force into the ground, so it ends up reducing the force. You can't have one thing without the other. It'd be like playing a pickup basketball game, but then not getting into a full fist fight at the end. The two just have to go together, it's just how it works. You know, I'll make that fist fight joke because last week at a basketball court in a gym where I usually go to play basketball, two people were shot. They were shot on the basketball court and no details were released about why it happened or what the argument was or anything, but you know, you know that they were playing a game. One dude went up for a layup, he missed it, called foul, the other dude said, Tyrese, you were on a wide open fast break, I'm literally here on the opposite side of the court while you're yelling at me saying that I fouled you, how could I possibly fouled you. Then Tyrese got mad, went to his double bag, pulled out a gun, and shot two people. Show me the police report, show me the security footage, tell me that's not what happened. I'll be an eyewitness, I wasn't even there, but I just know what happened. Anyway, back to the jumping thing. Just next time you're out of court, make sure you're warmed up, try your normal jump, see how high you get, and then try another jump thinking about that whole force times speed thing I was talking about, and see if you get a couple inches higher, which you should. And if you guys liked the video, it would mean the world to me if you could go get your nearest nail gun, aim it at that like button, and just shoot 54 nails through the light. Nail gun the fuck out of that like button. And comment down below the size of your forehead in centimeters and make sure the numbers are in Arabic numerals, not in English numerals. Thank you. And I'll see you in hell. I'm just looking for the time back. I'm just looking for the time. I lose almost every day. I lose almost every day. I can't blink a single time right now.